Hey, Illinois DMLA, Dad Robertson here. I want to show you how to set a table just like they do in a restaurant uh, to add another level of elegance to your parents' day dinner. So we want to look at what we need as far as utensils and stuff and how it all goes together. I'm going to show you two variations, one for a rectangle table or a square table and one for a round table. So on the table here, we've got what we need. So we're going to have the napkin, which there is a video on how to do the napkin fold. Then you should have two forks. Um, they can be the same size or one can be smaller or uh, larger than the other, that's fine. A teaspoon, smaller spoon, that's gonna be for dessert. A knife for dinner. Your water beverage or beverage glass, whichever glass you're going to use is fine. And then uh, just for uh, setup purposes, we're gonna need the plate. Now the plate that you're going to use is the plate you want to use for your entree, your biggest plate. That helps to determine how the table gets set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna place this in front of the place setting uh, and the table here. And then I'm going to then base my flatware off of where that plate is. So I'm gonna start with my forks. So my forks go to the left and you see the one is smaller than the other. The smaller one goes on the outside. That would be your salad fork. The larger one on the inside would be your dinner fork. On the right side, we're going to put the dinner knife. And what you wanna do now is you wanna look at how it all comes together and you wanna create this imaginary line that runs from one side to the other. For our spoon, since it's for dessert, dessert spoon actually goes up above the plate with the bowl facing towards the forks. Now that you have that set, you can remove the plate. You're gonna place your beverage glass above the fork. And then that napkin that you folded, sorry, above the knife. And then well, that napkin that you folded goes right in the center where the plate would have gone. And so now you've got your place setting for a rectangular or a square table. To do it for a round table is going to be very similar, but the difference is we don't have a flat surface to work against, so you create an imaginary line. Okay, so it does the same thing. You put your two forks on your left, your knife on your right, and then since you don't have a straight line because it's not a rectangle or a square, you create an imaginary line running at the base of the flatware. The spoon goes up at the top, beverage glass above the knife, not the fork. <laughs> we'll remove the plate and we will place the napkin in the center. And it all works out similar. Okay. So now one more thing I want to show you when it comes to removing, since uh, you the basic rule of thumb is you work from the outside in. So there's not a lot of pieces here, so it's not as uh, big of a deal. But if you were working traditionally with this, you would use your salad fork, the smaller fork first. When you remove the salad plate from the center, you would take that one with you. Then your entree, of course you would use your entree fork and your knife. Once that one's done, those would be gone. And then all you have left is your dessert spoon. Your dessert goes right here in the center. They can pick up the spoon, eat it, and then they have their dessert ready to go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you uh, set a table for a rectangular or a round table.